Hey everybody, I am the Dumb Specialist. My name is Chris, and today is May 2nd, 2011. Uh, some uh, Bin Laden kill day, um, but that's another subject for another time, probably later, who knows. Um, for now, though, there's something that I've been meaning to talk about for a while, and that is the misconception and the misinformation of people who don't do the right research and talk about something that they aren't all the way familiar with and others who just blab stupid shit that shouldn't be even listened to. Um, that said, I'm going to try to make this as clear and right and knowledgeable as possible. Um, here on my left we have uh, the orbital projection for Comet Elenin. If you're not familiar with who, what, our, yeah, what Comet Elenin is, um, let me go ahead and give you a brief description. Uh, this Russian dude who lives up in New Mexico, um, who is an amateur astronomer, uh, located uh, Comet Elenin in December of 2010. He uh, was accredited with finding it, and uh, Elenin is his last name, and that is why it is called Elenin. Um, the comet is supposedly about three to seven kilometers in diameter, or uh, you know, it, its thickness, whatever you, however you want to describe it, its volume, um, and it's supposedly traveling at around eighty thousand miles per hour. Uh, the closer it gets to the sun, as it takes its path around the sun it will slow down uh, before speeding back up when it exits it when it makes its exit um, now these are all the scientific facts about comet Elenin okay now this orbital projection is from their uh, what is it their, their comet database and um, orbital trajectory um, I don't know. They, they handle all that stuff, but it's based out of Washington, D.C., and it's totally government official. Okay, so if you, if you haven't been there or you're getting this from another website, they're getting that from SunGazer, or, yeah, SunGazer.com, or .gov, and it's actually a government website. Um, the last update they did, I believe, was the end of March, and... Here, May 2nd, if you look now to your left, May 2nd, it is showing Comet Elenin is just outside of the Mars orbit. Um, down here, it shows how far away it is from Earth. Right now, it's 1.8 AU, and from the Sun, 2.4 AU. Now, if you aren't familiar with what an AU is, it's short for astronomical unit. An astronomical unit is the distance from the Earth to the Sun. And that's how we measure uh, planetary bodies and, and uh, anomalies um, by the, that distance counting as one. Um, so that is 93 million miles at its furthest point, uh, roughly. Okay. So one AU is 93 million miles away. So it's 1.8 AU, which is almost one and a half, which is about a hundred, we'll say 140 million miles away. Okay? Now, if I go ahead and I press play on this, you can see that it's going to come to this point right there, September 5th, 2011. Now, why is that important? That is important because that is when it will become clearly visible in the night sky see yep there we are sorry about that clearly visible in the night sky uh, by us here on earth the reason why it isn't clearly visible to us on the in the night sky right now is because it is in the southern hemisphere now the southern hemisphere is marked with this part of the orbital track being colored dark blue okay now this 
part right here, light blue, is in the northern hemisphere. And that's the part of the hemisphere that uh, us in the United States live in. Uh, most of, you, you know, all the major civilizations, I guess you could say, they all live in the northern hemisphere. And southern hemisphere, South America, Australia, uh, places south of the equator. Um, now space itself has an equator also and it's shown here on this diagram this right here going up and down okay and this going left and right okay those show the northern hemisphere southern hemisphere okay and this is the orbital plane this line okay it's the ecliptic that's where all the planets if, if you come down, watch, and I'll, I'll show you. If you come down like this, okay, you get a better idea. All the planets are roughly in the same orbital plane, okay, up on the northern hemisphere, or southern hemisphere, but mostly all on the same, equal with the sun, okay? So, as you can see, comma L and N. Let me go ahead and rewind it again. May second, May tenth is fine. Um, comma L and N is in the southern hemisphere. Now I know what you're what you're thinking. You you said I said that the guy who uh, discovered comma L and N. He's wait a second. He's in New Mexico, and New Mexico is in the northern hemisphere. And he's an amateur tele, uh, uh, astronomer. So how is it that he was able to locate it? And that's a very good question. One that I can't uh, answer. One that I've asked. And one that hasn't been answered thus far. Um, so that's a very good question. And it leaves a weird doubt of truth in the information that's given to us. Um... So again, this is in the southern hemisphere, going into northern hemisphere, okay, and let me zoom in, let me zoom in a little bit, get a little bit better idea of where things are. Now see, here's Earth, and when we put it in play, Earth is going around doing its business, come on, it's getting closer and closer, and boop, and he just crossed into the northern hemisphere. Now when he does this, okay, it's not even 1 AU away, it's 0.65, which is roughly 45 million miles, okay? So we're going to say 45 million miles away from Earth at this point. Alright, now I'm going to zoom in closer. Okay. I'm going to turn our solar system around just a little bit so we get a better angle. Okay. Now, I'm going to go day by day here and watch this comet Elenin gets closer and closer and closer. Those of you familiar with this know that comet Elenin is going to get about 0 0.23 or 24 AU from us. But when it does, it's after it crosses our orbital path okay and when it is crossing our orbital path it's 1.58 AU okay which is almost the same distance as it is right now All right. so you're asking how how's it gonna get so close then well, remember I told you it slowed up before it shoots back out so we catch up to it a little bit and when we do you can see 0 0.264 and I think it gets a little bit closer and that's on October 26th oh sorry I pressed the wrong button and stop 0 0.23 okay October 20th now we are going to be able to see a spectacular thing. If this is truly a comet, it will be spectacular. You will be able to see an awesome tail, better than uh, what we saw in the 90s 
and uh, with the Hell Bob and uh, the, the other one, which I can't think of right now. Now, the question is, is this a comet? And I'm going to do one more thing real fast. I'm going to zoom in. Okay. And remember now, this right here, this line, is the orbital plane. You see how Mercury, it goes off of the orbital plane. Venus does a little bit as well. Earth is right on dot with it. And, let's see, right here, this spot right here, I mean, I, I gotta say, that I would have to no doubt my mind that L and M is gonna cross right right through our path. You know? Right like right through our path. The I, I don't know if I'm saying that right, if you understand. I mean it's not gonna do it when we're there, but it's gonna do it right before. Now the thing about that is the comet debris or the tail of the coma which might be diminished by then because of the heat from the sun when it gets close here um, but yeah I mean that is that is going right through um, now here's here's what here's what I was gonna say okay and I'm running out of time here and, um, in 83, there was an uh, anomaly that made scientists believe that there was another planet outside of our solar system. Um, it was never totally confirmed, and it wasn't uh, reported on very well. Um, years later, in the 90s, again, there was an uh, anomaly, um, which I believe they decided it was uh, Tai Chi. Uh, but it wasn't really reported on very much until 2000s when uh, a lot of interest became available into the um, scientific area. Now, Tai Chi is real, okay? It's real. They, they've said that it's real. They know that it's out there, okay? But they really haven't given very much uh, information on its orbit path or uh, anything like that. They do know how big it is. It's uh, huge. And um, it's four times bigger than Jupiter. Now listen, there's also a chance that we're in a binary system. Now if we're in a binary system, that means there's a, another star, possibly a dwarf star or red star, okay, with its own planetary system. Now that could be very well the truth, and then that would mean that there could possibly be a planet Nibiru. Okay, which now has been called Planet Tai Chi. Now, here's another interesting fact. Why is NASA getting rid of all this crap? Uh, they just they just shut down SETI. Um, they're shutting down the shuttle the shuttle plan. And they're going to restart it in a few years from now. That doesn't make any sense. Now they're setting all these shuttles up there, pretty much all real close next to each other one after another it costs millions of dollars to do that why would they do that if they're just going to be shutting down the program anyhow um, I believe they're getting ready for something they're getting ready to try to save us I think I don't think that this comet LNN possibly is a comet maybe it's actually coming at us but I don't believe it is I believe that it is our binary solar system sister Okay, and I believe that there's going to be planets, and I believe that there might be something in, in that that's going to be coming too close for comfort. I don't know what it is. This could all be speculation. It is speculation, but it could be true. You have to ask yourselves questions of why this stuff isn't being reported more often. Why isn't the information in whole given to us to where we can truly understand it? Um, I'm running out of time and I'm speeding up here and I have more to say so I will make another video but this right here is coming into our area very shortly we should be able to see it no one's reporting on it 
and it's going to be a magnificent sight. Remember when they saw Hellbob, how much it was reported? Think about it. Thank you.